not feeling it on the barbell row. Sorry about that, taking a drink of water. All right, next up, I, I tell you guys, this is one of my all time favorite bicep movements. It's the incline cable curl. What you do is you set your seat up reasonably far in front of the cables. So your arms are being pulled behind you. The most important part here is that the elbows are behind the body during the entire range of motion. What this does is it preferentially recruits the long head of the biceps. The long head is what gives the biceps the peak, that kind of outer peak that really pops up on top. The long head of the biceps also plays a very critical role in your overall shoulder health, just the overall health of the shoulder joint. Um, big shout out to Athlean X for also talking about that quite a bit on his channel. Um, you know, most people, their short head is stronger than their long head, which creates a muscular imbalance. So this kind of exercise where your elbows are behind your shoulder joint are just super, super valuable. This also puts an insane stretch on your biceps, and it also gives you a really, really strong peak contraction. It's also very hard to cheat this movement because the, the cables are actively fixing your elbows in place. It's just an amazing all around exercise. I actually like this better than regular incline dumbbell curls. Uh, I'm almost a little bit, I feel a little dirty saying I like a cable movement better than a dumbbell movement because I am kind of a free weight kind of guy, but man, this exercise is just unbelievable. So right here, going into my third um, part of the rest pause set. Oh, by the way, guys, uh, last time I did this movement, I think I had 22.5 pounds on each side of the machine, whatever that weighs. This time I had 27.5. So that was a massive, massive PR, um, on this movement. So that was my third part of my rest pause set. Then I did some partials and next I'm moving into a brutal static hold. This is unbelievable. I was very inspired by guys like Josh Bryant and John Meadows for pushing these static hold ideas. 